Defense has been the name of the game for the Ravens all season, and it was brilliant again Sunday in Miami in Baltimore's 27-9 wild card win over the Dolphins. During the regular season, the Ravens led the NFL with 26 interceptions, and the pick machine was in high gear against the Dolphins, swiping four passes on the day, two by its premier ball hawker. Ed Reed was the best player in the field. Ed Reed is a big-time playmaker. Uh, he led the league in interceptions, and uh, he really plagued Chad Pennington, who had not been turning the ball over all season. The Dolphins tied for the league lead in lowest amount of turnovers, but they were just victimized all game by Reed and the Baltimore defense. Reed had two interceptions, including one he returned 64 yards for a touchdown. The steady Chad Pennington, who threw just seven picks during the season, was victimized four times during a 22-minute span. Pennington seemed to show some nerves a little bit in this game. He was throwing into double coverage. His receivers didn't help him at all. They weren't running great routes. And also, you have to remember that Baltimore really puts a lot of pressure on a quarterback, no matter if it's in the running game or in the passing game, because the Ravens are always in his face, and that's what happened in this game. Baltimore's Joe Flacco is not asked to stand out, and he didn't, completing just 9 of 23 passes for 135 yards. But he also didn't commit any turnovers, and he did what the Ravens needed. Joe Flacco is a rookie quarterback, but he didn't struggle against the Dolphins at all. He made some big completions, particularly one to Derek Mason near the end of the first half that led to a field goal. And that was a very important field goal because the Ravens went into halftime pretty much knowing they were in control. Another Baltimore rookie is also moving into the divisional playoff against Tennessee. Uh, we've had three first-year coaches play in the playoffs. The first two lost, Tony Sperano and Mike Smith, and of course John Harbour, who did not get a lot of play in the voting for Coach of the Year. He's going on. But of course he also had the better team of the three teams. And that team, with 10 wins in its last 12 games, now heads to Nashville to face the AFC South champion Titans. Dave Lebeski, The Associated Press.